that's why the rajasik mind is better than the tamasik mind the rajasik mind says i am not all right i need to do something to 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 become better hmm i feel inferior i feel incomplete i need to rise i need to achieve that's the rajasik mind the rajasik mind at least admits that it is not all right the rajasik mind at least admits that it needs to change and improve do it tries to improve in a unwise and foolish way but at least that admission is there i am not okay the rajasik mind is a tough nut to crack i am all right no you are not all right but i am all right but you are unhappy oh i am joyful but 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 then yesterday night you were wailing and sobbing in that is my pleasure that kind of an argument you understand this i made a video you are frothing in the mouth and flowing in the eye your face was just froth and tears and you're cursing your life here i shot it and what does the fellow say in that is my pleasure i love to wail i love to yell i love to shriek i love to cry tears give me a high and now how do you talk to this fellow he says i'm all right i'm all right as i am in his own eyes he is some goddamn philosopher especially after he's a bit high i'm getting it it's very very important for him it's a matter of survival to not to care about the results to not to even inquire into the results the day he starts inquiring into the results he will be forced to change therefore i deeply oppose this neo pop spiritual culture of living in the present i do not want people to not to care about results because not caring for results is all right if you are a satvik mind or if you have transcended the ego then it is all right to not to care for results but if you are a rajasik person or a tamasik person as 99.9% people are then you need to be very very conscious of the future and of the results of your actions the tamasik mind desperately wants to avoid looking at the consequences of his actions and that is the reason why the saints if you visit their literature constantly repeatedly reminded us to think of the results of our actions and they reminded us to think of death they constantly kept saying think of death now all death is in the future but today's pop spirituality is about ignoring the future totally don't think of the future live in the present don't think of the future live in the present then why were the saints continuously telling us to think of death death is always in the future right now you aren't dead it is because the saints knew better 
they knew who they were talking to. They knew they were talking to Rajsik and Tamsik minds. And Rajsik and Tamsik minds need to be cautioned of the future. That's the Tamsik mind's ultimate fantasy to do what he wants to do and then not bear the consequences. Is that not a great fantasy? No. I'll do what I want to do. I'll consume what I want to consume and I won't even have to foot the bill. The saints are saying the bill will need to be paid with due interest. Mind the bill. 